Hello everyone, this is Pranshi Kumar from Standard 11 Science who is going to be talking about the mechanism behind the working of something that we use in our daily basis. So the thing that we are going to be talking about is nothing else but a common modern toothpaste. Yes, a common modern toothpaste. Toothpaste as we know it are relatively new, about 150 years old only. But toothpaste as we don't know were things like rock salt, pumice, crushed eggshells, crushed bones and even crushed oyster cells. These kind of toothpaste are a lot older, about 5000 years old, but some people say 2500 years old only. Now the weird thing is that uh, the old toothpaste and the new toothpaste are not that different. We have a lot of ingredients involved in the manufacture of our modern toothpaste. So if you list down it's going to be a long list but we can split it up into different categories so the first category is abrasives abrasives are substances like uh, steel pumice or sandpaper abrasives literally scrape off food or other gunk particles like plague of your teeth now when i first came to know that we used to brush our teeth using abrasives the first thing that i thought like you have a very good long life to live involving 2000 hours more or less in brushing your teeth now imagine sandpapering a piece of bone for 2000 hours obviously you will end up with nothing but powder but your teeth are actually harder than steel or iron or bone the abrasives used in these days in the manufacturing of toothpaste is hydrated silica which believe it or not is the exact same thing that you find in the packets of luggage or vitamin bottles except water added to it. Next up we have foaming agents. Foaming agents as you can see in your soap and shampoos but uh, in toothpaste, in the manufacture of toothpaste there is only one foaming agent and that is sodium laurel sulfate. It is called SLS in business. This compound has no other function rather than to produce foam and we love foam when we clean up something, isn't it? Next up we have thickness and binders. Thickness and binders are those compounds that prevent the toothpaste from becoming a runny, watery, disgusting mess. And uh, the thickness and binders used these days in the manufacture of toothpaste are cellulose gum and uh, serigenin that are obtained from trees and red seaweed respectively so we are at our final three ingredients and these three ingredients do not fit into the categories so the first one is sodium fluoride sodium fluoride can be seen in the ingredients section of most of the toothpaste manufactured these days and it has a function that is to prevent cavities next up we have sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide as we all know it is a very good base and a strong base and it has a function that is to raise the pH level as you do not really want to be brushing your teeth with an acid next up that is the last ingredient is titanium dioxide titanium dioxide is used in the manufacture of toothpaste because it gives the toothpaste a white and sparkly color without it it would be like a dull gray and a gooey substance which is not liked by us